Hello, 3D printing friends. Recently, the touchscreen on my Monoprice Maker Select Plus 3D printer stopped responding to touch input. It would brighten up when I touched it, but none of the on-screen buttons worked. So today on the BB3D channel, I'll show you what I did to fix it. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian, and you are watching BB3D. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about cool 3D printer upgrades, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So I've had my Monoprice Maker Select Plus for a couple of years. This is the same printer as the WanHow Duplicator i3 Plus, the Cocoon Create Touch, and a couple of others. I think WanHow actually makes all of them and the other ones are just rebranded. Basically, if it looks like this printer, this fix will probably work. Okay, so as I mentioned, the touch screen on my 3D printer had stopped responding to touch input. One day it just let out a loud beep, and after that, well, it would dim after a period of inactivity, and touching the screen would cause it to brighten, but the on-screen buttons just wouldn't respond. I thought maybe there was a connectivity issue, so I removed the cover from the bottom of the printer and unplugged the cable from the main board that goes to the screen, and I plugged it in again. But that didn't fix the problem. The screen still wouldn't respond when I pressed the on-screen buttons. Then I took the screen off the printer, which was easier with this angled screen holder on the front, and unplugged the cable from the screen side of the connection, and I plugged it in again. But that didn't fix the problem either. So I thought about it a little more, and I remembered that this screen uses what's called a resistive touch sensor. It has a clear plastic overlay to detect touch, meaning that when you press the screen with your finger, Two transparent conductive layers connect, and the screen can figure out the coordinates of where that touch is occurring. By contrast, modern smartphones use capacitive touch sensors made of glass and bonded to the screen so you don't have to mess with that clear plastic film. Now, I'm old school, and I've been using touchscreen devices for something like 25 years, starting with the Newton Message Pad, and then the Palm Pilot, and other devices after that. And those old devices, they all used resistive touch overlays. And one thing all those devices had in common was a way to calibrate the overlay. Performing the calibration allows the device to figure out where on the screen a touch is occurring. So surely the screen on the Monoprice Maker Select Plus had some way to calibrate it. But if the calibration is off, you wouldn't be able to press an on-screen button to start the calibration, right? Well, sort of. It turns out that there is a way to put the screen in calibration mode without having to press an on-screen button. And here's what you do. Using a plastic stylus, a retractable ballpoint pen with the business end retracted works really well, tap the top right corner of the screen rapidly in the same place. You might feel silly, but just keep doing it. Eventually, the screen will beep loudly, turn blue, and prompt you to tap the center of one target after another for a total of three targets. So, Tap each target as it's presented, and once you do that, the screen should then respond accurately to touch input. So, hooray! It works now! I just wish I'd known about that trick sooner, then I wouldn't have been taking off sheet metal and screens and unplugging and replugging cables. And yeah, as fixes go, this one was super easy. I just figured that if I had run into this problem, somebody else may run into it too, and hopefully this will help someone out. Well, that's all I've got for today, so let's get this wrapped up. Now, I know this is the part where most of you click away, but I'm going to go through it anyway, and those of you who stay through this part, just know that I really appreciate you. So thank you for making it all the way to the end, and thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any cool 3D printing stuff. If you like the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but either way, please share your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content that I'm producing and you want to help out, Check out the description for ways you can do that. Shopping using the affiliate link really helps no matter what you're buying, and heck, even just subscribing is a great way to support the channel and help keep me making these videos for you. Well, now that I'm able to control my printer from its touch screen again, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>